You guys, it's another eat local kind of day here at Number Six with Cheese. That's Corey. I'm Sean. Today, we're going to a kind of Puerto Rican. Cuban hybrid restaurant called Nelly's. Me and the boys, uh, we met two fantastic sandwiches on the menu for you today. And then also this week, don't forget, if you buy a hat or a pin off of number 6 with cheesecom you get a free bottle of Sixer Sauce. You can try our tried and true, the gold boy himself, Mr. Sixer Sauce. So, uh, pumped you guys are here. Let's do a food review. I know he's excited. I know I am. Traffic light. Has a couple of sandwiches from Nelly's in that bag. Acquired jump cut. Excited to try this place. It's been around 17 years. It's like a staple of the Humboldt Park neighborhood. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, I got the Cubano, and man, this looks and smells so good. Um, so pretty standard Cubano. We've got what on here? Ham, pork. Looks like pesto. I'm assuming maybe like a garlic. Yeah. Paste smells very Whoa. garlicky. And then if I open it up, we've got some pickles, which you expect on a Cuban. And uh, cheese. I think that covers it, yeah? Yeah, normally mustard, but it looks like they use that like spread instead. Yeah. That, look, that looks really good. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and then I got the Iberito. Um, very popular here in Chicago. Chicago kind of oh. made this a thing. Yeah, kind of only popular in Chicago from what I hear. I don't know too many other places that have that. Yeah, I don't like sure Puerto are, Rico, but... but like I think Chicago kind of blew it up. Yeah, it yeah, made it a thing. America, yeah, yeah. So it's a press sandwich, but instead of bread, you have fried plantains, like smashed, so smashed. You're seeing footage right now of how they get smashed and then they're dropped in the fryer. And it's just like so fantastic. So cool and unique. Um, they're really, really neat. I'm hooked on them. There's a couple food trucks in Chicago I love that sell these, and this is kind of my like go-to. When I can get a sandwich that I'm like gonna really enjoy, and I'm gonna splurge on myself and actually get something, I love an Iberito. I thought a dirty and thought. splurge on myself. Yeah, I thought a very <laughs> dirty thought when he said that. <laughs> Mine's got pork. You can get chicken or steak or whatever. All right, here we go, Nelly's. Cheers. Mmm, mmm. Mm. <laughs> so much flavor. Mm. Doesn't disappoint. This is one of the best ones I've ever had. Wow. One bite in. That like garlicky spread, I think it's a pesto. It's good. This thing is absolutely legit. Like, that is some of the most flavorful pork I've had on one of these. Wow. Mmm. The meat's good. I love Cuban bread. Mm hmm. Corey's was $10. Mine was $12. You can add a side for two bucks. We're just doing food reviews all the time, so we we kind of we don't get the sides unless we absolutely have to get the sides. Mm -hmm. So if you want that, two bucks extra. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is too much pesto for me. Wow, which I've had that problem before. Mm -hmm. They're strong. I have my own pesto at home, and I put it on sandwiches, and I know that I'm well known to me <laughs> for over pestoing. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll do it with like meatball subs and be like, this excess <laughs> meatball subs not as good because I did too much pesto. I think this has too much pesto on it for me. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little pesto scrape, I think, on the second half. It's funny because, like, the traditional problem in restaurants is they don't give enough sauce. Right, right. So to, to give too much is kind of comical. Though. Yeah. They didn't even put that much on there. I think it's just so strong. It's like highly concentrated. Mm hmm. I like the addition of the Puerto Rican flag just in both parts of the sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm gonna add some sixer sauce. Hot sauce does balance out the pesto flavor pretty well. Pretty well. So hopefully that'll... Yeah, I'm gonna do some on this sandwich as well. If you ever come to Chicago and you're here for a little bit longer, if you can get to Humboldt Park and try some of the Puerto Rican food here, like we're really spoiled because like there's a huge Puerto Rican population here. Mm -hmm. So there's so many great restaurants. But to me, it's like kind of what I tell people if they want to get off the path of just the pizzas and the beefs and the hot dogs. I swear, man, if you like want to get a little more adventurous, get some Puerto Rican food in your life. Man. I can't even finish it. But it's one of those things like the first bite, I'm usually like, oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. It gets overpowering quick. Damn. That's pretty wild. You wanna take a bite and see what you think? Yeah, I'm like really like interested. Yeah, just curious. There's hot, there's six or sauce on it. So that did help actually. Where's like the most of it where right? I'm just gonna go right where you are. Yeah. 
That's a lot, right? Holy it's shit. not just me. I thought you were being like a little bit over the top. Yeah. You're not. Okay, good. <laughs> Whoa, it's really salty. It's so salty. That's almost more to me what's like too much about it. You know, I think that is probably what it is. That is because the, the Oh my meat... God, it's so much sodium. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It's a bit, bit too much for me today. I bet it's the type of place it just depends on the day a little bit, but that is what? They give you a two liter of water? Yeah, no kidding. Somebody just ate one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what do they call that sauce? I gotta see like what the order thing says. Mm -hmm. Just chugging that water. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Garlic cilantro dressing. Okay, so it's not a pesto. It looks like one. Yeah. But yeah, garlic. So you can unclick it if you want to to save yourself on that and add your own kind of like. Woo! They have a bunch of different. If you eat in there, this place is also known for being the only breakfast buffet in a Puerto Rican restaurant in Chicago. It's like known for this epic breakfast buffet. I don't know too many breakfast buffets at all. That's no, crazy. it's really not like super super. A you thing. don't hear that often. I feel no, like. but they like they're known for that. Mm. And um, I guess cool. who they named it after because it's like a family-run restaurant. Their mom was like big into taking them out to breakfast, so they wanted wow. to honor her by having that's like fun. the best breakfast buffet in the city, which I'd love to do. I'd love yeah, a breakfast cool. buffet. I haven't really done much breakfast buffet and since I used to like grow up and go to Big Boy. Yeah. My parents would take me to the breakfast buffet at Big Boy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a breakfast buffet in my life. What about at like a Holiday Inn? Oh yeah, I guess that. Like the counts. world's worst powdered eggs. Yeah. Wow, dude. So this thing is like the perfect balance of flavors. Like it's not overpowering on anything. Oh, this guy's over here bragging. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> mm. This place across the street, free one liter uh, soda with uh, purchase of a pizza. You don't see that very often. You don't see that. You know, Michael's is the only place I can think of. Oh, Michael's does that. We got sodas when oh we went and God, bought that. Oh my God, completely forgot yeah. about that. Yep. A lot of people that substitute something for bread on a sandwich, it's like, you're probably doing it for like less carbs or less yeah, bread. Yeah, like lettuce wrap or something like that. This is one of the only things that you could sub in for bread for me that that helps it. Yeah, like this, a flavor enhancer. And there, probably gotta be healthier. I'm assuming. It's still fried, but it is a, a banana. Not a giant carb. It's a banana, basically, instead yeah. of floury bread, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, the texture of plantains is so nice. It's got like a crunchy kind of like, it's a more fun consistency to me. With, for this sandwich, there's yeah. just more to it. Yeah, that's such an awesome move. I'm so glad that Chicago's got that under their Shame. belt. It's like one of their things. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's nice. First person that ever turned us out of these, Ali Six. Ali Six, we drove past one of his uh, graffiti walls earlier today. I, I, I didn't bring it up, but I saw it. Right, awesome artist, and um, yeah, we had him on the show like earlier on before we were doing a ton of guest stuff. Yep, yep. All right, well, that was delicious as hell. Lucky. I think Puerto Rican food is like maybe one of the more slept on genres of food. I, I no doubt about it to me, dude. Like I don't, you know, I don't expect my hometown to have really good Puerto Rican food. Like there's not a huge population there. No. But like, man, if you can find little pockets of places that have a Puerto Rican population, eat there. Okay, before we rate it real quick, last little breakdown. I like the price. I feel like they probably more often than not, I don't know, probably make a good sandwich. I would assume. I kind of vibe that I just got like a bad one, but oh, that was that was that was rough. If I I wanted to finish and I couldn't, it was a l way overpowering. Uh, and ten bucks for the size. If it was good, that'd be a decent price. But yeah, man. If they food process like that cilantro to make that sauce, cilantro is very very like heavy flavor. So if you really concentrate that, and it's just yeah, that's real quick to be. Yeah. Cause cilantro a lot of times too much for me. Like yeah, if it's done in big quantities. Yep. Um, mine was fantastic. It was one of the best Ibaritos I've had in Chicago. Twelve bucks, kind of the going rate for those, like ten twelve bucks. I'm used to that. So that's right online. Um, I think if you want to try those, that's a great place to start. Yeah. All right, Alex Trebek, bump that. We're gonna rate this out of five. Immediately know what I wanted to, to write. Going down to the hundredth, I haven't done that in a while. Ooh. All right, cut it off. Cut it out. On the count of three, one, two, three. Woo! Yeah. Four, seven, five. I had to yeah. go below average. I know, I get Tough. it. We had different experiences today. Hate doing that. Hate doing it to a local spot, but man, that was brutal. If you're wondering what I took points off for, actually kind of one of the smaller ones. Mm. For that price, I've seen them done quite a bit bigger. That was really my only beef. Guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also remember, you buy a hat or a pin, you get a free Sixer sauce. Today to comment with you guys to kind of hang out and become friends, get to know each other a little bit. What's a genre of food, a cuisine, that you feel like doesn't get enough love? Like we're talking about the Puerto Rican cuisine being amazing, a lot of people don't know about it. What would your answer be? Comment below, we'll comment ours. And we'll see you again very, very soon tomorrow for another video. So, on to the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I fell for that so bad. <laughs>